Obi. You has a chance to show how progressive he could be when he was the governor of Anambra State. All he could do was boast that he saved money. I don't know how much, but I tell you, it is a wicked parents like Obi given the opportunity to feed his children investing tomorrow on their behalf and hold money in his hand while the children starve and go to bed hungry. In the end, he received to save the people because he prevailed to save the money. OB has nothing to be proud of. Instead, OB moved, left Anambra crying. He moved to Lagos. OB. OB. Import and export. We are house economists. Ah. Ah, OB, why did you do that? No. You now run away to no. labor. Tinubu has never been a supporter of saving for public good. He has always kicked against savings. By federal government and of course as state governor he never saved it was under his administration that lagos began massive borrowing both internal and external borrowing which the state is still suffering up to today of course they can tell you about the revenue they generate but it has never been enough As what Bola Metinubu has the mindset of sharing. That is why you can see him talk against P2B because P2B saved money. In 2011, President Gulo Jonathan wanted to save money for Nigeria through the establishment of sovereign wealth fund so that the excess crude amounts excess crude the money from excess crude will be channeled to this sovereign wealth fund and it will be properly managed so that nigeria can have a reserve for the rainy days as Wadibola Metinubu opposed it, he issued statements opposing it. He supported the governors, Nigerian governors forum at the time, to say that they should not, there should be no saving. In fact, as Wadibola Metinubu followed among leaders who said that why do you have to save money for the rainy days? That they are already drenched now. So there's nothing like the rainy days. The rainy, the rainy days had already started. They, he and others encourage the governors to go to court to challenge federal government's plan to, to establish the sovereign wealth fund and demanded that the money be shared. Yet these same people who say that the whole money should be brought out and shared, money that should have been used to create buffer as other oil producing countries are doing. Today, the sovereign wealth fund of Norway, an oil producing nation, is in its asset is over $1.2 trillion. Yet these same people 
when they eventually took over power in 2015, they claimed that they met empty treasure. Why will you not meet empty treasure? That is assuming that they were right. When you want, you are you are part of those who demanded that every money should be shared, that there should be no saving. Of course, Peter will be himself was a victim of that mentality of sharing. You recall that P2B was impeached for saving money without authorization. And that was just the same mentality that Tinubu had. Because if you read the statement he issued in 2011, Tinubu was saying that Gulag Jonathan had no right, that it's against the law for him to establish that sovereign wealth fund. What we are suffering today in Nigeria Tinubu played a role in it because he was among those who are opposed to saving money for any days for Nigeria. Today, Nigeria is literally on its knees, on its knees, going from one borrowing international agency or country to another, looking for money to run its affairs. But had we established the Sovereign Wealth Fund, Nigeria will not be the way it is today. And it is instructive that uh, in her book, the former Minister of, uh, of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Dr. Ngozi Okonjiwala, who is now the Director General of World Trade Organization. In her book, she, she singled out P2B as the only governor who supported saving among the governors. Because Mr. P2B understands the importance of saving and saving should not be something reserved only for individuals. Families have savings. Husbands have savings. Wives have savings. It is therefore a surprise that saving money for government is something that Aswadibola Metinubu is using to make jest of P2B when he should be applauded that he did not generate debt for his state, that despite everything, he was able to save money when other states were running into debts. He was able to pay all the bills of his state. He was able to construct roads. He was able to become number one in education, number one in health, the Millennium Development Goal, his state was among was the state that was number one in Nigeria. And Millennium Development Millennium Development Goal was the standard that was used to measure development around the world. And he came tops. And you are trying to make just that as if as he was saving the money, he was not doing anything else. P2B was saving money. Some of the monies he saved in dollars, their maturity date have not even reached. I learned that some of them, their maturity will reach this 2023. You can imagine how much Anambra State would harvest with the present rate of the dollar in the dollar investments that P2B made in the banks. P2B, as a prudent manager of resources, ought to be applauded. It ought to be the shining example of what leadership should be. It is not something that Aswad Bolame Tinubu, the presidential candidate of APC, should make use as fun to make fun of him. Of course, reasonable Nigerians know that only a foolish Walker 
a, a foolish earner of money that will not struggle, they will not try as much as possible to live under the budget so that he can be able to save money for emergencies. Look at Nigeria today. Nigeria didn't save anything for emergencies. And that is why the country is the way it is today. Do you think that what is happening to Nigeria now can happen to Norway? It cannot. Because the over $1.2 trillion sovereign wealth fund is like a buffer for Norway to be able to withstand any financial shaking, both locally and internationally. But people like Tinubu was against that. And they were the people that later turn around and begin to complain about the state of the economy when they eventually came to power. So Nigerians should watch it. A president, somebody who wants to be president of Nigeria and he doesn't think that saving from the SS crude account is important. Saving through the establishment of sovereign wealth fund is important. People should be wary of such a leader who believe in the sharing of the resources. Already, Peter Obi has been talking about it, the fact that this country, the era of sharing is over. It is now the era of production. Everybody should join hand in productivity. But the poor foundation of consumption that we are known for right now in Nigeria. As what Bola Metinubu was among the building blocks of that. That is why he could make form of Peter Obi that he saved money. It's only in Nigeria that somebody will be radical because he saved money. Somebody will be radical because he was prudent in management of public resources. Somebody will be radical because he didn't steal the money. Somebody will be radical because he wanted to be different. Because he managed the people's resources as if they were his personal resources. And look at how he was talking about Peter Obi. Name calling. Talking about Peter Obi coming to Lagos after being governor of Anambra State. But he forgot that P2B was chairman, chairman of banks in Lagos. By the age of, four, in his 40s, he was already chairman of many banks and blue chips companies in Lagos. So, he's, so he had been living in Lagos, had been living in UK, where he also have companies. That's somebody who was saying that after he became governor, after leaving governor, he came to Lagos. When he had always been traversing between Lagos and London for years, even before he became governor. He wanted to paint a picture that Anambra was uncomfortable for him. Therefore, he left Anambra and came uh, and moved to Lagos. But he had always been in Lagos. And why was he in Lagos? He was in Lagos because of the reason why many other people are in Lagos, including Aswadbola Metinubu. Aswadbola Metinubu is not a Lagosian. He came from Oshun State. If he can move from Oshun to Lagos, Pitubi has every right in a united Nigeria to live in Lagos and do business. So it is it's a lie that Peter Bing went to Lagos after he became He was already living in Lagos for years. And had lived in London for over 10 years before he became governor of Anambra State. So it's, 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 it's unfortunate. And I think that, I don't know what the Independent National Electoral Commission is doing, what the security agencies are doing, but every time Aswad Bola Metinubu talks and keep on calling Peter B's name, 
he keep on violating sections of the Electoral Act, which need to be applied. Of course, even the, the some of those uh, penalties are not even much. Where some some of the penalties, some of the one million naira, five hundred thousand, as fine. So the government can easily pay off something like that. So there's a need to make stiffer law on this kind of uh, uh, campaigns. You can see that P2B has always maintained civility. You hardly see him mention the name of anybody. He keep on addressing the issues. But anytime time Aswad Bola Metubu talks, he keep on with name callings. And sometimes he speaks out of point. and create skits for skit makers on TikTok and elsewhere. But the truth, important thing is that Nigerians should take note that Aswadbola Metubu is not a prudent management manager of resources, public resources. And Nigeria at this time need a prudent manager of resources like Peter Obi. Nigeria is in dire straits. P2B has shown it in a number of states. He can do the same for Nigeria. Because right now, Nigeria needs somebody who cut down the West so there will be enough resources for development. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. Uh, please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it higher and uh, recommend it for more people. And with more people watching it, there will be more Nigerians who will see the need to vote for P2B so that the country can get the change that he really desires and deserves in this year's election. Thank you and God bless you.